Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Hype Connect onto your smartphone in order to connect to your existing Hype Vision CCTV system. If you're an Android user, you'll have to get the app file from appstore.hikevision.com. When you download the file there, you'll be presented with some warnings regarding the file potentially being malicious, which you'll have to acknowledge. You may also have to edit a permission on the phone in order to install the app from an unknown source. However, on the Apple phone, you can just go straight to the App Store and search Hike Connect. The app we're going to download is Hike Connect for End User. Once the app's downloaded, click open and we'll be presented with some permissions to authorise. Allow Hit Connect to or Hike Connect, sorry, to use your location, allow while using app. Allow notifications, allow critical alerts, and agree. And we're at the screen ready to enter region, which will leave as United Kingdom. Click OK. Click Login Register. Now we're not going to put any details in here. We're going to connect to the system directly. We're not using the Hike Connect service. We're just using the Hike Connect app to add the system. So we're going to click visitor mode and then we're ready to add our device. At this point we need some details for the system. The details we need are the internal IP address usually starting 192.168, the external IP address or domain name, the port number, the username and the password. If JW Security Solutions has installed the system for you, I will have provided all of these details or I can provide them on request. Now to add the system, we're not going to click the add device button in the center of the screen. If we were to click that, that's going to bring up a barcode to allow us to add a system to the cloud service, which we're not using. We're going to click plus in the top right corner, then click manual adding and click OK. Adding type, click IP domain, and then here are the details that we mentioned earlier that we need to add. Alias is just the friendly name of your system. In this case, for this first entry, I'm going to call it Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to enter the internal address of the system, the internal IP address. In my case, this is 192.168.0.250. Now, if you're on an Android phone, it's very important that if your phone automatically adds a space after the decimal point that you remove those, it must be no spaces in the address. Enter the port number. Enter the username for your system. And the password. Now we're actually going to add the system twice here. You can see I've added the alias as Wi-Fi and we've used the internal address. So this entry is going to be used whenever we are in our own home on our own Wi-Fi network. We'll add it a second time for when we're using the mobile network or anywhere else other than home. I'm going to click the save icon in the top right hand corner that looks like a, a floppy disk. And we've got another permission to acknowledge there. Hike Connect would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. We need to click OK to that. And because that prompt popped up after we clicked save, in the top right corner, this time only, we're going to click the pencil to edit and then click the save floppy disk icon once more. If all's well, it will say added and the camera number at the bottom of the screen will change from one to however many cameras are available on your system. If it shows incorrect username or password, it means just that. It means that it's successfully connected to the system, but the username or password was incorrect. So you may need to click the edit icon and retype if it doesn't come up. If it, gets, if it says failed to connect for any reason, as opposed to incorrect username or password, that would normally indicate that you've entered the address incorrectly or the port incorrectly or that you're not actually on the same Wi-Fi network or the same network as the recorder. 
Next, we're going to click the left arrow in the top left corner of the screen. And we can see the device we've added there. Click plus again in the top right hand corner. Oh, sorry, before you do that, switch off your Wi-Fi. So we're now on the mobile network. Click the plus icon, click manual adding again. Again, we'll select IP domain. And this time for the alias, I'm just going to call it mobile. And what I mean by that is this is the address when I'm anywhere other than on my home net Wi-Fi network. Enter either the external IP address or the domain name that you've been given. Again, this is case sensitive and there should be no spaces in it. Enter the port number again. And the same username and password as you entered previously. Click the save icon in the top corner. It'll take a little longer this time because we're going across the mobile network. Now, as you can see, we're on 4G. We've clicked save and the camera number is updated from one to nine. So we know we're connected to the system. So what we've done there is not only added the device to the system, we've also proved that the port forwarding is work working in the router uh, and we could be anywhere in the world now and that would be working. So we're just going to click the left arrow key in the top left corner again there. And I'm just going to click the DVR icon for mobile just to prove that that's working. And I can just bring up one of my cameras and we're all good. Thanks for watching.